most of the analysis of the entrance and influence of the Europeans in the South African region tend to focus more on the disagreement between the British and the Dutch settlers referred to as the Boers. But there are some positive areas in the early stage of the takeover of the Cape Colony by the British. The entrance of the Europeans to the area that later became South Africa can be traced to the establishment of Cape Colony by the Dutch East India Company in 1652. The colony was established as a refreshment station and a place for restocking for the ships of the Dutch East India Company. The Dutch East India Company was a major corporation in business from 1602 up to 1799. During these years, the Dutch government granted the company monopoly on Dutch trade on Dutch trade between Europe and Asia. The company profited mainly from the spice trade. The Cape Colony in the southern African region became a refreshment station for the crew members of the Dutch East India Company as they navigated their way to and fro the Asian continent. This colony remained in the possession of Dutch East India Company until the British first occupied the place in 1795. According to B. Bakindo and Co., the British first occupied the Cape Colony in 1795. Their aim at that time was to prevent the area from falling into the hands of France with whom they were at war. The British held the place until 1803 when they handed it back to the Dutch government. Cape Colony, the Cape Colony returned under the control of the Dutch for a few years. The British retook the colony in 1806. This may have been because of the importance of the place in the global business as at that time. According to Kevin Shellington, he stated that like the Dutch before them, the British needed a supply station for their ships to India and a naval base from which to protect their shipping from attacks of rival Europeans. On their own part, Bakindo and Co. stated that the British government also annexed along with Cape Colony Basuto land, Basuto land and Greek land. This an annexation was for economic reasons mainly and also for strategic reasons. To put up their stronghold, the British introduced a number of social and economic changes to the area. Unfortunately, the introduction of some of these social and economic changes made a large number of Dutch-speaking colonists, referred to as the Boers, 
to trek not words out of the Cape Colony. And this movement, which is referred to in history as the Great Trek, happened from around the 1830s and the 1840s. The British taking over of the area brought some changes which to a certain level was rewarding even to the Boers. In the early years of the British rule, there were economic expansions which highly favored some of the Boers. According to Kevin Shellington, he stated that the wine farmers of the Western Cape now had freer access to British markets. The large British garrison at Cape Town and the increasing number of British ships calling at the port provided better markets both for local wheat farmers and for the pastoral trade boers of the interior. Some other economic expansions that we are witnessed under the British were this. There were expansions in the farming of merino sheep, which was grown basically for wool rather than for meat. The trek boers as well benefited from the uh, British expan the economic expansions through the supply of African ivory, which they pushed to the British markets. Unfortunately, for some cultural reasons and for some reasons which might be social as well, some Europeans of Dutch extraction decided to move northwards where they established the Boer republics. Where well, the other developments later to later led to serious violent conf uh, conflicts between them and the British backed government, which later led to the total unification of the area and then established the unacceptable apartheid regime. Please, if you're watching us for the first time, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification icon so that anytime we drop a new content, you will be one of the earliest persons to be notified. Please, we also appreciate your support and we request that you help us to share our content so that it will reach other persons thanks for being part of this channel